Hi, this is Mike, and in this final tutorial for academic advising scheduling, I'm going to show you how to create new appointments if you don't want to reuse your appointments when you're scheduling a second round of appointments for your students. Um, okay, so this one's a little bit more challenging, but it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So under the Schedule Advising Appointments area, you'll see Build Content, and you've got the single sign-up list or the multiple sign-up lists and you will want to choose single sign-up list if you want to add one appointment slot or you want to choose multiple sign-up lists if you want to add more than one appointment slot. In general you'll probably just want a single sign-up list. So under the name you're going to want to put some basic information. So you're going to probably want to choose uh, the advising appointment date and the time range. So I'll put advising appointment June 2nd, 9.30 to 10 o'clock a.m., right? And now I have a few options. I can give it um, some information here in the text, but I don't need to. Uh, the sign-up period, you're going to want to make sure um, that the list closes, um, well, the list opens um, soon enough so that the students can register, but it closes late enough so that the students can actually register before it closes. So you can change that date. I'm just going to change it to next year. Um, then you're going to want to change the number of places under list settings. Right now the default is 10, and you probably just want to change that to 1 because you only want one student to sign up. And I don't know why I got that uh, warning message, but we'll see. Um, we don't want to reserve list size. And now groups. If you want to populate a group based on the sign-up sheet, you can say create a new group on submit, but in general you won't want to do that. So I'm going to choose none here. And that's basically it. You can permit users to view the content. You can track the number of views if you like. And you can also select date and time restrictions that you want it to be available, displayed until. And then I'll click on Submit. And that's it. Down at the bottom, you'll see that new appointment that I've created. And now a student can go in. Let's go in as a student. So let's see where my student self is. A student can log in, go to the academic advising sample, go to schedule their advising appointment, scroll all the way down to the bottom, see that June 2nd time slot, and click sign up now, and they can sign up for that time. And that's all there is to it.